Hey guys, it is your homegirl Katie again, once it, er, with you once again, and um, I haven't gotten a ton of feedback yet on what you guys have wanted to see with my channel, so I am just going to go ahead and talk a little bit about my faith, since that's such a huge aspect of who I am and who I aspire to be. I have belonged to a church since I was in the womb, you might say. I was born to two very Christian loving parents and they baptized me after I was born. And I grew up in the Presbyterian church, went to church every single Sunday morning and did Sunday school and all that awesome traditions that my mom had done as well. And I think that's super cool, especially considering that today, not a lot of families have that dedication to maintain that um, tradition. I grew up in the Presbyterian church, but about first grade, I started going to this program called Awanas at the Baptist Church. And Awana stands for Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed. And it um, is sort of like a Boy Scouts or a Girl Scouts sort of deal, but um, it's with Jesus. So you're memorizing lots of scripture and doing activities with that and reading the Bible and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And so I went to Awana from the time I was in first grade until I was too old when I was in sixth or seventh grade. So they had little Bible competitions and stuff too that I did. Here I was being um, raised in this Presbyterian church, being involved in activities at the Baptist church. And then I also, in fifth grade, started going to a youth group at our Christian church. And that's kind of when my, my spiritual life changed. Um, until that point, I had only seen a tradition because the Presbyterian churches and the Baptist churches um, are all very traditionally based. A little older generation that um, there's lots of wisdom being passed down in the traditions being upheld whereas in the christian church there's so many new families and younger younger families like mine and i had not i was not accustomed to that and um my neighbor well he used to be my neighbor and a good friend of my dad was the youth pastor and said hey why don't you come to fuel and i was like sure what is that and he's like oh it's a jesus party on steroids and i was like i don't know what that is but uh, okay, and so I experienced contemporary worship for the first time, and I knew then that that fuel th this youth group I was attending would would change me. I had never thought about loving God so much and feeling that in your soul. And yet, at, at the Presbyterian Church, you sing hymns, and yes, they're beautiful and sweet, and they're fun to sing, whatever. But the the core worship and just that guttural like letting it all go letting god take this burden from your hands you don't necessarily feel that with the hymns and it, it was easier for me to understand god carrying my burden and it was beautiful now i've, I've mentioned that i am very musically inclined and i was scared honestly, to consider participating in this worship team. And um, it was really my, my freshman year when I started thinking about it. And I was like, oh, I, like, oh I, really, I really didn't think I could. I thought I'd be doing it for the wrong reasons, which at that time, I honestly would have probably been doing it for the wrong reasons. So finally, middle of my sophomore year-ish, almost junior year, I was like, hey, I really think that I can contribute to the worship team. I finally feel like I'm in the proper place to, to participate in worship. And I said, okay, let's, let's make this happen. So I played the keyboard and sang harmonies for a while. And if there was like a specific song, then I would sing lead. And that was really where I started to feel like God had put me in a place where I can be used to further his kingdom. My family and I, I mean, 
my brothers and sisters, we've been exposed to the Presbyterian Church. We've been exposed to the Baptist Church. We've been exposed to the Mormon Church. We've been exposed to all these different things. Plus, my friends, I have several friends who are Lutheran, several friends who go to other, just other churches in general. My struggle, though, is that I had all of these different faiths to choose from, which wasn't really a struggle. It was more of a blessing, but um, it's not that I wanted to choose differently. It's that I was struggling picking the pieces of what I believed. As I said, I was baptized as an infant, which um, is actually not a biblical practice, if you will. Only know that infant baptism is not mentioned in the Bible, which I didn't know much, didn't quite sit right. And so about my freshman year, I had really wanted to be baptized. And um, it was it was an internal struggle for about a year. And then finally, I vocalized my opinion at this awesome conference I went to called Christ and Youth Move. And I, I mentioned that to Marsha, my youth pastor, and um, it, it had kind of sat, sat and stewed with me, and he knew that, like, I'm from the Presbyterian Church. My mom's family grew up in the Presbyterian Church. My mom's family, their construction company built the church that we currently attend. So it's, it's a tradition that I'd be breaking or adapting, and it was going to be a struggle. So... Um, we decided to wait until I got home, until I could have that discussion with my parents. Um, and it was, let's just say, I expected it to go a lot better than it did. I expected to have full support behind me, but it didn't happen. Um, my mom was confused. She felt hurt. She felt betrayed almost. She thought that since her family had been doing this tradition for how many generations of baptizing their infants when they're born, that I was saying that her traditions weren't good enough and I was kind of pooping on her family's heritage, so to speak. And it was, it was a real struggle because my dad grew up in a Christian church and he understood that baptism is a personal choice to make the decision to follow Christ, not one that's made for you. And um, in the Presbyterian Church, and I know they also do this in the Catholic and the Lutheran churches, they have a process called confirmation, which is theoretically the same principle as baptism. You attend class and do activities, never do these things, and then um, you're officially a member of the church. And the thing is, I didn't learn anything during my confirmation. I took confirmation classes from February until a, June, maybe? 7th or 8th grade, I don't recall. But I learned nothing. I already had this biblical knowledge. So it was almost like there's no point. I want to love everyone and show them Christ's love. And so here I was struggling with that and I was struggling a lot during junior high with my self-image which I mean I think nearly every girl in junior high does um but I was struggling with my self-image I was struggling with that that friendship with those people who don't believe what I believe and I just I wasn't I wasn't sure what to do I kind of let it slip from me and I I would continue the cycle of of struggling during the school year and then I'd be fine in the summer and I'd be excellent when I went to CIY that Christ and Youth Conference in um, in July and then I'd be great for the rest of the summer and then boom school would start school would start and I would get messy again and I would not cling to my faith I would cling to whatever bad habit I was in whether it be just general negativity or hanging out with the wrong people or using bad language or whatever whatever negativity I was clinging to. And 
when I got to this last senior year in February after I turned 18 and I got baptized, I kind of had to take a step back and say, really, like, am I pure? Of, like, I am, I am now pure. What, ha what do I need to change? And it took me a long time after that to really actually make changes. I think that since February, I have become so much more open and I really feel like I'm trying to keep myself in check. I have since started calling college, uh, picked up a little bit of a swearing habit. So I'm trying to knock that off. And um, just in general, try to live a little bit more wholesomely. It's really difficult in college to try to live wholesomely when there's so much that going on around that's not so wholesome. So I've gotten connected here with Marshall's dad, actually, who is a preacher, and he is from Omaha, but um, teaches at Skidmore Christian in Skidmore, Missouri, which is this awesome little dinky town uh, about 15 minutes from campus, 20, depending on how fast you're going, and um, I'm going to be helping with worship there. So I am plugging in. I am keeping up. I, I am sticking with the church because if I don't stick with the church and cling tight, cling tightly to the faith that I have, then I'm going to lose it. I can use God's power to really draw people in. Like I said, I just want to fill everybody with, with the love of Christ. I want to show Christ's love to everybody and I think that's part of where I am now. Now I'm I'm not thinking so much about rules or yes, I mean I'm keep I'm thinking, hey, maybe like stop swearing so much, like be honest, keep your keep keep yourself in check, yes, but I'm also stepping back and seeing like just love everyone. If I love everyone around me, then I do those things. If I really, truly show love to the people around me, then I'm going to speak respectfully around them. I'm going to speak only the truth. So that's that's where I am, is I just know that I got to love everybody. So if you have any questions, any comments you want to make, just leave them in the comments below. And um, please reach out to me either in the comments or you can email me at katiejean, it's not my lover, at gmail.com. And please like, subscribe, um, et cetera, give me a thumbs up. And for real though, um, please let me know what else you want to see on my channel. I can put more faith-centered videos like this. I can do my college experience, a little blend of everything, beauty, DIYs, whatever you want. So please just let me know in the email or in the comments. And um, to quote Abraham Lincoln, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs>